Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to begin looking at figures, but before we do, we're going to take these three here and use them as an exercise to figure out which are congruent sides and which are congruent angles. So the definition of congruent sides are sides of a figure that have the same length, and congruent angles are angles in the figure that have the same measure. So here, taking a look at this, this is called a quadrilateral. Quadri means four, and lateral means side. So this figure has four sides. The symbols here indicate, the little tick marks, indicate that these four sides are congruent. They have the same length. And these symbols here indicate that these angles are right angles, so they're all 90 degrees, which means they're all the same, or the same measure. Therefore, these four angles are four congruent angles, and those four sides are four congruent sides. Because of that, this quadrilateral is called a square. By definition, a square, the four sides are congruent, and the four angles are right angles, or four congruent angles. Here we have a triangle. The symbols here indicate that the three sides have the same length, so these three sides are congruent. These symbols here mean that the, the three angles have the same measure, so therefore they are congruent angles. Congruent sides, congruent angles, this triangle must therefore be an equilateral triangle. Equi means the same, lateral means sides, same sides triangle. That's literally what that means. And here we have another quadril quadrilateral. It looks quite a bit different from our square there. We have four sides, therefore four sides. But notice here, not all angles are, have the same measure, so not all angles are congruent. But you can see that these two angles appear to have the same measure because they have the same symbol for angle. So these two angles are congruent, but is, are different from this angle and different from this angle. And these two angles are not congruent because this has two curved marks and this one has three. That's an indication that those are not congruent. As far as the sides are concerned, you can see that these two sides have the same tick mark, so those two sides are the same length, so these two sides are congruent, and these two sides have each have two tick marks, means those are congruent with one another as well, so these two sides are congruent, and those two sides are congruent. So you can clearly see that this figure is definitely not a square, because if you had a square, all four angles would be the same, and all four sides would have the same length. That is not the case, so we just simply call it a quadrilateral. It has four sides.